fact-checking claims about Tim Walz and the George Floyd protests. Vice President Kamala Harris announced that she selected Minnesota Governor Tim Walz as her running mate for the 2024 presidential election. That news has led to renewed scrutiny over Walz's handling of the protests over George Floyd's death in 2020. Floyd, who lived in Minneapolis, was killed by police officer Derek Chauvin on Monday, May 25th, 2020. Chauvin had handcuffed Floyd and held his knee on his neck for more than nine minutes, despite Floyd's protest that he could not breathe. Chauvin was ultimately convicted of murder and manslaughter, but the initial police statement a day after the fatal altercation only described Floyd's death as a, quote, medical incident. The situation led to widespread protests in Minnesota and nationwide, including looting and fires around Minneapolis and the burning of a police precinct. Walls' arrival in the national spotlight has prompted questions about his response to the matter, which included calling in the National Guard on Thursday, May 28th, to quell violence between protesters and the police. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis posted on X that Walls, quote, sat by and let Minneapolis burn. However, multiple experts who lived through those protests described the claims as misleading. Part of the controversy stems from how the Minneapolis mayor, Jacob Fry, asked Walls to activate the National Guard. Fry said he requested they be activated in a Wednesday night phone call and accused the governor of hesitating to do so. But Walls said he couldn't act without a formal request, which came in writing from Fry the next day. That's when Walls activated the guard. A review of the phone call between Fry and Walls by a state official, as well as an outside firm, said Fry was vague and that a request for guard assistance must include specific details typically found in an operations plan or an incident action plan. Experts also say that the attacks against Walls oversimplify the logistical challenge of activating the guard, transporting them, and instructing them. Walls activated 500 National Guard members on Thursday, but only 90 were on the ground that night. That force grew to 7,000 National Guardsmen by Sunday. The Guard's former Adjutant General also testified that only 700 of the 13,000 troops had riot training.